It's something you don't want to see, somebody urinating in public. Here in downtown Ann Arbor, many people say it's a problem and the city is working to address it. I think it's really disrespectful. Peeing in public, it's a big problem in downtown Ann Arbor. According to, well, just about everybody we talked with, from students to elder residents to city officials. I am a student on this campus and it's definitely not something you want to see passing by on your way to class in general. The reason residents say A2 has promoted many events and attractions downtown, but that's left people without ample places to appropriately relieve themselves. Witnesses report people peeing in places like alleyways because they're otherwise at the mercy of businesses that often bristle at requests to use their private stalls. Businesses should be letting people use their bathrooms. I think that's like kind of a public health um, yeah. that would be good to expand. It's always awkward getting turned down from a business. Um, especially late at night, they're closing, they're in a bad mood, which I understand. The Ann Arbor City Council recently passed a resolution asking the city administrator to look into what it would take to develop public restrooms across downtown. It was identified as a top need, which it certainly is, because you shouldn't have to pay for food or whatever else you would pay for, pay for an article of clothing in order to use a restroom. I think it's a great idea as long as uh, we don't have to pay more taxes because the people that live here, the residents, pay really, really high taxes. The cost of the public restrooms, one of the issues city officials would have to figure out in the long term. Are we going to contract out these services? How much do they cost to maintain? City officials we talked with say the resolution council passed did not include a timetable, so we don't know when we could see public restrooms in downtown Ann Arbor, but the conversation will likely continue. I'm Dave Kinchin in Ann Arbor, Fox 2 News.